Do you like rampant consumerism? Do you like cheap manufactured garbage? Do you like child labor perhaps? You do? Me too! I also like all those things. You know, kids these days are too soft. All they know is go to school, watch Skibbity Toilet, and play Roblox. They simply don't know how to work a 16 hour shift like they used to. If you think about it, the point of going to school is so that one day you can join the workforce. But back in the day, you used to just hit the workforce straight away, instead of wasting those valuable years doing nothing really. In my opinion, society has really gone backwards here. But don't fret, if you're a lover of all the aforementioned things, then I've got just the company for you and that company is none other than Temu, the latest and greatest in the genre of online Chinese marketplaces like Xian, Wish and AliExpress for cheap and low quality products. I'm sure if you've spent any amount of time on the internet recently you've heard of Temu, partially because they spam the internet with ads and because loads of people are shilling their products all over social media. If you search for Temu on TikTok you'll be greeted by loads of people showing off their Temu hauls. Now some of these people seem to make videos about it just because it's the newest consumerist craze, but that craze is fueled by other people who shill it for money. Because Temu not only has sponsorships for creators, but they also have an affiliate program where if you get someone to buy something with your code, they'll get free items or big discounts and you'll get a commission on their purchase. And it seems to be working. People are shilling Temu all the way from influencers with millions of followers to people trying to get their friends and family to sign up with their code. Now of course, I'm going to do the exact same thing. Are you kidding me? I love money. They say I can make up to $100,000 a month. And look at all these people who are making loads of money with Temu. That must be real. How could I let this opportunity pass? So guys, please click the link down below to get a great discount on cartoon gaming, 3D print, boys casual, pullover, hooded, long sleeve, sweatshirt for spring, fall, kids, hoodie, tops, outdoor to support me and your favorite Chinese conglomerate. And if you use code TaiwanIsn'tReal5, you will earn an extra five social credits. Now, even if you haven't spent any time on the internet recently, somehow, there is still a good chance you've heard of Temu. Well, if you're American at least. Because they bought a Super Bowl commercial. Or to be more precise, they bought five. Now apparently it is not known how much they spent on these commercials, but this one guy on TikTok said they spent 35 million on it, so I'm just going to blindly believe him because people on the internet always tell the truth. But regardless, it is pretty insane that they had a Super Bowl ad, considering that Temu only launched in July of 2022. That means after only existing for about a year and a half, they are already advertising on arguably the biggest stage in America. Now I don't watch the Super Bowl, but but I did hear that apparently Taylor Swift won it this year, so congratulations to her, but I don't even know she plays football. But despite that, I did still see the ad on YouTube, and something about it really stood out to me. And I'll just let you watch it and see if you can catch it. Feels like a dream, feels like magic. Did you see that? She turned white. That was like the first thing I noticed when I saw this. And at first I thought, there is no way. I must just be seeing things. But then when I looked up Temu on TikTok, I saw loads of memes about it. So I'm not crazy. crazy. She turns white. Some people said it was just the lighting changing, but that's not it. Just look at her arm here. That's white skin. That's not just the lighting. I did not know Joe Biden had it out for Temu like that. I will buy from Temu. Then I am afraid that you ain't black. Screams and pain. Now the slogan for this ad is shop like a billionaire. But I'm afraid this might be a case of false advertising, because I'm not sure if Jeff Bezos, who is my favorite billionaire by the way, I mean, who else would it be? Bill Gates is just some autistic nerd who like worships the devil or something. And then Mark Zuckerberg is... Well, he's also an autistic nerd, either that or he's a robot. And then you have Elon Musk. Well, he's also just an autistic nerd who talks like a ventriloquist doll and thinks the number 69 is funny, but has somehow convinced himself that it is in fact cool because he's friends with Joe Rogan. But Jeff Bezos is the best. I mean, just look at him. That's a trustworthy face if I've ever seen one. That's a man whose warehouse I would work in. But I don't think he spends his money on the type of things that you can buy on Temu. Like imagine showing up to the annual billionaire party, which I'm sure is a real thing and everyone is talking about all the things they've been spending their money on you've got elon musk he's like i bought an entire species of endangered monkeys to teach them to make dank memes for my ex account 
Very nice. I bought a small island nation of pygmies that I will turn into a private resort. What about you, Mark? I too buy human things that humans like to buy. Why do we invite this guy? What about you, Jeff? I, uh, bought this remote-controlled fart machine. Um, it's pretty good. What is wrong with you? That's the thing about this ad, it doesn't make any sense. How is paying $20 for a weed flavor ramen noodle hoodie supposed to make me feel like a billionaire? But that's the thing, it doesn't have to make sense, it doesn't have to be a good ad to do what it's supposed to do, which is to build brand familiarity. People just have to know that you can go to Temu for cheap stuff. That's basically what all their ads are about, promising cheap prices and discounts on top of those cheap prices. And if you go to their website, almost every item is at a marked down price to make you think you're getting a great deal. They also have these spin the wheel pop-ups where you have a chance to get up to 100% off. Now of course everyone knows I love gambling, but but unfortunately, they're completely rigged. I've gotten this pop-up a few times now and every time I get the 100% discount. It seems that they're willing to take a big loss just to build brand familiarity. That and they probably sell your data on the black market, allegedly. They sell pretty much everything. Except weirdly enough, nothing about Tiananmen Square, which is pretty strange. But whatever, nothing interesting happened there anyway. I did notice they sell a lot of posters for alcoholics. Just the typical unfunny boomer humor where they try to hide their crippling alcoholism behind quirky bar signs. Now, I did look, but I couldn't really find anything that promotes drunk driving. Just a bunch of breathalyzers. Truly a, a sad day for all my booze cruisers. I uh, also found this cool weed themed bathroom set, which <laughs> I can highly recommend to all my 420 blazers out there. Or maybe you're just looking for a nice gift for the in-laws and this'll do great for that too. Something that is not so nice, however, are the um, lifelike baby dolls you can buy called reborn dolls. I, I do not know why they're called that. It is described as a lovely lifelike gift for companionship. Who is this for? There is no way the people who buy this are mentally stable. It's just so weird. Like, dude, just look at that. That should be illegal. That is not something that should exist. Now, obviously, I expected that the products on Temu would be cheap, but it is surprising just how cheap some of the stuff is. Take this drone, for example. You can pick it up for only $16 or $25. I don't know why they sell the same drone for different prices, but whatever. From the reviews, it seems that it is a legit product that has made it into people's hands. Now, obviously, from the price and the product page, you can tell that this will be a really crappy, terrible quality drone that will probably break within the first two weeks of you owning it. But the fact that they're even able to source the materials and manufacture a working drone with a camera for this price is insane. For some context, the original DJI Mavic Mini had an MSRP of $399. Now, of course, that was a good entry-level drone made by a recognizable brand. But still, even though I don't know much about the manufacturing costs associated with making drones, I would be willing to bet that just the bill of materials for the Mavic Mini was probably well over $16. So how they're able to make and sell a functioning drone for that price blows my mind. Because even a bad quality drone still requires circuit boards, wiring, antennas, not to mention someone still needs to put it together. And on top of that, they somehow need to still make a profit. Now, according to this Time article, a Temu spokesperson said that their low prices are enabled by a deep network of merchants, logistic partners, and Pinduo duos established ecosystem built over the years. Now, I was curious about that, so I did a bit of digging and I ended up getting in contact with someone who works at Temu who requested to remain anonymous. I ended up talking to this person on the phone and asked him how they get their prices so low. Now, unfortunately, I didn't record the call, but I did write down what he said, and he said that they're able to get their prices so low because of Strave Raber. Unfortunately, I don't know what that means. Uh, maybe it's a Chinese word. I I don't really speak Mandarin, so yeah, I don't know. Um, if anyone knows what it means, you know, feel free to let me know in the comments. Now the question is, why buy from Temu? If the quality is poor and the actual service delivery isn't always the best, not to mention that despite what it says on their website, these products probably aren't manufactured in the most ethical way. Let's just say that there are a lot of young Chinese boys involved in the manufacturing process. Young little Chinese boy, are you happy? Very. 
So why is it so popular? Well, the answer is pretty simple. It's yeah, consumerism. Right. People just like buying things. And on Temu, you can buy a lot of things for not that much money. Who cares if it ends up in a landfill in a month? It's just about the feeling of buying stuff. And people just either don't know or don't care about all the negative things connected to Temu. And listen, this isn't one of those videos where the person making it just cries about capitalism at the end. If you've got money and you want to buy stuff, go ahead, that's great. But be wise about it. We probably shouldn't just spend our money on random manufactured garbage that doesn't really serve any purpose besides ultimately taking up space in a landfill, which is pretty much what most of Temu is. But unfortunately, I think it has been proven time and time again that materialism and consumerism is just too addictive. And I don't know if it's possible for such a prosperous society as we have today to not get completely caught up in it. You know what, maybe we do need communism after all because I can tell you who wasn't buying mass-produced garbage, Ukrainians in the 1930s. I just realized that I now have a bookmark folder in my browser filled with pages to buy lifelike silicon babies. I should probably delete that once I finish this video. Anyway, thank you for watching everybody. If you feel like watching more of my videos in the future, feel free to subscribe and I'll see you next time.